An ICBM, or Intercontinental Ballistic Missile, is a rocket that travels from one continent to another in about 30 minutes. Each missile can carry multiple warheads or nuclear bombs that allow them to shower a target with multiple nuclear bombs. It is almost impossible to stop them. Nuclear submarines use nuclear power and can stay submerged for months at a time. These submarines carry SLBMs, or sea-launched ballistic missiles. The advantage to these missiles is that they are almost impossible to find, and they can get very close to the target, which gives little or no warning time. Long-range bombers like the B-52 and the Backfire Bomber are so fast they are very difficult to shoot down. Bombers carry a large nuclear payload. No matter how many you shoot down, it is certain that some of them will get through to their targets. The Dew Line is a string of radar stations in northern Canada that will detect ballistic missiles coming over the North Pole that are headed to North America. This is NATO's early warning system. In the Cold War simulation, the Def DEFCON, or Defense Condition Readiness, describes the alert level for both NATO and the Warsaw Pact. DEFCON 5 is the lowest level of readiness and is considered normal. DEFCON 4 is when security and intelligence work is increased and all forces are now on alert. DEFCON 3, nuclear submarines put to sea. DEFCON 2, all bombers are launched and in the air. DEFCON 1, all missile silos are hot and ready for launch. DEFCON 1 is the highest alert status before nuclear weapons are deployed. An all-out nuclear strike is designed to decimate the other side's ability to launch a counter-strike, mobilize their forces, or recover at all. Recovery from this scenario would take hundreds of years and in some places might not be inhabitable for thousands of years.